Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming by, hanging out with us, being on the tube. And we're going to be talking about who wore it better. Meaning, did Simon wear well with Portia or did he wear well with Fallon? Now, of course, we know these women right here. And the one in the middle was trying to say Fallon Gavadia was never her friend. She was just on the show. And Shamia was co-signing and shit. Just trying to be the backup person of Portia because they grew up together. But they both were wrong for coming into this lady's house trying to friend befriend her but really trying to get her husband because Portia I'm sure had her ear down to the streets and the streets were probably saying Fallon and Simon were having issues so that's how Portia needed just to swoop right on in there try to get this million billionaire as she say allegedly we haven't found anything to support that theory of thought yet. But like Dennis says, Portia flies fast, crash hard. And that's pretty much what he's seeing her doing because he really felt that while she was trying to get back with him, he was saying, sign a prenup, but we ain't got nothing to talk about. She flipped out and went and started trying to date this man in the same damn month. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, that's how he see it. But as we can see, Miss Diane is much thinner than what she was. And maybe that's why we can't buy Larry. Because Portia has spent some of her money. I don't know, then it could be some of Father Ty's money. Making Portia's mom look a bit younger. And definitely, she has lost a lot of weight. But again, we're not really talking about that right now. We're trying to figure out. Who looked better? Who wore Simon the best? Now, of course, when he was with Fallon, he looked kind of ashy. He looked kind of trashy. He kind of looked like Larry the Lump Lump person. Smoking all those cigars, thinking he was man, okay? And looking ashy as hell. So Fallon really wasn't doing a good job in making sure his appearance was up to par. So, uh, Porsche, on the other hand, she looks at all things from an optical viewpoint. And as we can see, that is her twin. PJ definitely looks like Portia. That is her baby girl all the way. Now, we see the affluent, allegedly, Simon Gabadia, marriage ended to Fallon on that day. Of course, we are mad because we can't believe that Portia would get in the middle of such a mess. Before they got divorced, she was messing with Fallon's husband at the time, which was Simon Gavadia. All right? We think she got her tricks of the trade from her mother, Diane. Because Diane allegedly lost her husband to Lauren's Portia sister. Mom, okay? But that's just in theory. That's just in thought. Because do we really think with now, she was looking right there. She wasn't happy. She was sad, miserable. I don't even know if she had Larry at the time. But, you know, she probably did have Larry at the time. But, for some reason, Father Time get too close to her. Between Father Time and Portia, they helped Miss Diane lose faith. Okay? Because at the time that she was sitting at that table with Lauren, they were trying to bash Dennis about being a cheater. And all that kind of stuff. And I'm like... Diane, could you have talked and said the same thing to your daughter at the time? Because you may love your daughter, but you know when you got a hoe. You know when you got a hoe. And that was Miss Diane and all her glory until 
course, she got on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she wanted to be looking like how she looked back in the day when she was young, when she was Portia's age, probably her 20s, maybe 30s. She was looking like fine like that. So we can see where Portia gets her confidence and how she likes to show her body. It's because her mama taught her how to do it. Now, that was the woman, Lauren's mother, who Portia's dad left her mother for. Now, ain't that some bullshit? The one thing I can say about Lauren's mama, she ain't even trying to get in the mix of filming. When she has to be seen, she's seen. Other than that, she out of the picture, okay? Now, I can appreciate that. And we knew Portia was always jealous of her sister Lauren. And her so-called bestie, Shamil, she wanted the same thing. She wanted the happy life of a wife and having a child. She thought she had that with Dennis until Dennis called her bluff and said, sign a prenup. And of course, Portia was livid and her mom, Diane, was livid. Like, why she got to sign a prenup? Why you can't just marry her? Because Dennis still want a future just in case it didn't work out with Portia. And he didn't want Portia taking every last dime he had. And he had a mother to look out for him, Miss Gina. Miss Gina helped him start it. And she's going to get her retirement out of it, okay? And she don't give a crap of what Portia's mama talking about. Because Portia mama called herself trying to get Miss Gina together and was going to get her together. But then she cowardly dropped out of the vacation they were supposed to be taking on this Portia family matter. Thing. Okay, so after that time, we didn't have any more respect for Miss Diane. She wants to show that she can do things, but when things go south and she's a part of it, she don't want her hands any, any anywhere in it. She don't want to show up and show out. And I'm pretty sure Miss Gina would have kicked her ass all the way around the whole island that they were on. I'm just saying. But Miss Gina was there. She was ready, lock loaded, and ready to spray. But Portia Mom called herself, Oh, I'm not feeling good. Okay, at the 10th hour, when it was time to show and prove and get ready to go on the trip, Miss Diane said she couldn't make it. Uh huh. She didn't want to make it because she knew she was going to be facing Miss Gina. And that's TamaKettles.com. She's another blogger over there. Until I sent you over there, okay? If y'all want to look at somebody else who gets down and tell it like it is. Nice lady. But yeah, Portia has been spending all her time, all her money, trying to soup up her best friend when her best friend should be in the position of being her mom, okay? And telling her like it is. But again, we see what we see, we got what we got. But yeah, hot mess, hot stinking mess. That Portia would call herself, try to go up a man who wasn't ready to be seeing anyone because he was still married. But she swooped in anyway to say, uh-uh, I ain't let nobody get, get him. I'm going to get him. And, of course, she had her best friend, Shamil, probably telling him, yeah, girl, you better get him, honey. You better get him. Why? I don't nobody really know who he is at the time. And, of course, Portia, in all her wiles and ways and all her dishonest tricks of the trade that she was taught from her great grandmother to her grandmother to her mother. But Fallon was still living in her best life, okay? Still living her best life. And throwing Papa Time, Papa Smurf, Father Time, Papa Bear, however you want to see him, Black Jack Head, yes. She threw him to the side and waited for her escape. To be with her new man who he's married to or getting married to at this time. They share a child. Yes, an infant child. And I know Simon wished that child was his. Because I really don't see him fooling with Portia in the way that he thought he could fool with her. He saw who she was eventually. And that's why he hurried up and got a house before they got married. So it won't be a property Portia could try to claim. Now, get found in this picture. This is her, Portia's grandmother, and her grandfather, I'm thinking. And this is when 
Simon Gabardi was saying he was blending his family with Fallon. And he would never forget the boys, and he was gonna, those boys was always going to be in his life. Well, that was a dream that was spoiled because Simon allegedly don't even speak to those boys anymore. They're not in his life, and it just is what it is. Now, Portia used to be taking notes. If he did it to her, he would do it to you and baby PJ. If another woman came and was on television and she would provide a platform for him so he could be showcased and seen, she would drop you like the next thing smoke. And from what I hear, he's not too pleased with you because you have not solidified another contract to be shown on TV. Only way you're getting your exposure is through your Instagram account platform and anytime you want to post your wares and tears meaning your goods your hair and your sheets from your website and Amazon is what I hear honey, is what I hear so did Fall Fallon get the best assignment or did Portia get the best assignment did Fallon look better with Simon, or did Portia look better with Simon? Because we already know. They don't want Simon for his looks. They want Simon for his money. But, Fallon said, let me buy out gracefully. Okay, let me get the hell on. Because this man is not really who I want to be with. I'm not going to be his trophy wife anymore. I'm not going to be someone he could just flounce around and I collect check at the end. I don't want that kind of life anymore. She got the hell on. She bounced. Now she's looking younger. She's looking happier. She's looking vivacious. And she's living her best life. When she was with Simon, this is what she looked like. Still pretty, but she like she was unhappy. She was confused. She didn't want that type of lifestyle that uh, Father Time had promised her she would continue to have just as long as she stayed faithful to him. Then we got Portia. Portia got all kinds of tricks up her sleeve. All kinds of tricks <laughs> in her basket. All right. Did they have an open marriage? I can't really say. I can't really say. Was three of them in the bed together? I don't think so. Okay? I don't think so. Now, it was a time when Candy and Todd wanted her before that whole mess with trying to ape her and, and, and drug her and all that stuff came to me. And then they left her alone. But, but what's your P with it? Have an open marriage with Simon? Probably so if she could have a man. I mean, because we do know Portia alluded to being bisexual. But Portia would be too scared. He might like the other person better than her that they have in their open marriage or their threesome they're trying to parade around. The other person might get his attention more so than he giving attention to Portia. And then she'll be on the losing stick again. Because we do know when she felt that Mr. Father Time, Mr. A.K.A. Papa Smurf, had went over to his country land and wanted to be with his boys and stuff. Portia got on the next plane smoking because somebody had dropped dime on Father Time and saying, honey, baby, you will get over here soon? And I mean very soon. He's going to be partying with some African women down here that he know of and they know of him. And Portia said, oh, hell to the no, no. And she got on that plane with the assistant, with her assistant, Lauren. And they flew on over there and brought Father Time back. <laughs> oh. Now, that's something Fallon wouldn't have ever done. And I don't think she got a chance to meet Simon's mother either. So that's one of them, Portia, in her book, if you're looking at those aesthetics. But it seemed like Fallon got the best of everyone on everyone in the situation. Because she got money, she got her cars, and 
she got rid of Simon. And she got with a younger man, which was her sister. You could say she cheated. Okay, we'll take that in account. But she had a baby by him. She's always wanted a girl, and she always wanted a family. So hopefully they can be connected in the courthouse system as being married sometime this year, later on, or maybe next year. But Portia, what she got with Simon? But a bad headache and a bad day. Because she's thinking and she's hoping and praying he's worth what she said he's worth. But if you think about it, Portia, she didn't put his name, she didn't put your name on the house as of yet. Okay? You haven't been over there to see his family or interacting with his family from Africa. You see what I'm saying? You only went there one time and they threw you this big old parade of a celebration and we heard nothing of it since then. Other than you running over there to make sure he was faithful to you. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with your portion. Why you are trying to always look for somebody to take care of you when you should be taking care of yourself along with taking care of your door. You moved out your house, moved in this glorified, rented, leased, uh, maybe owned by Simon, but you have nothing in there that shows you. You bought furniture that was already being positioned or what do we call it, uh, staged in the house, he, he bought all that furniture. I'm like, you and him didn't, well, I know you had furniture because it's still in your old house. But you mean to say, tell me, what did Simon do with all the furniture he had when he moved out the house that him and Fallon shared? Or was that another staged house? I don't know, family. Y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about this farce of a relationship between Portia and himself. Does he just have her there for arm candy and he choose not to do anything else with her but lead her on that they are going to get married or just that and the third. They are going to have three wedding processions. Okay. What do y'all think about that? Because he's been uh, engaged to her for a year and two months now. A year and a month. And we still haven't seen anything of a wedding being put out for us to see. Not that we really want to see it, because I really don't want Portia to get married to him. I really want her to sit down somewhere, find out who she is, get her jobs back. Maybe not those particular jobs, but some more lucrative career choices that are going to put her in a six to seven figure range. And just live life. And not give it to somebody else. To make them give you life. You know what I'm saying? Because Fallon is much younger than Portia. And she's definitely living her life. Doing what she got to do. We're still anticipating that sinless book. That's supposed to have her and Portia. Well, Simon and Portia in there. And it's probably going to talk about how Portia slid in. And took her husband. But it really wasn't. Much to take, because from what I'm understanding, they both would check out on the situation. And Fallon was just not feeling her husband at the time, Simon, at all. It's like she had mentally left him before her body walked out the door. And she took that pretty Rolls Royce as well. Now, I don't know how Portia can be given a Rolls Royce one moment. And then a Mercedes to replace that Rolls Royce in the same damn year. I don't understand that. And we all know that a Rolls Royce is the top of the line of any cause. Okay? you going to let Simon take a Rolls Royce from you and give you a Mercedes Benz. Tell me, is that not bothering backwards? And how could you accept that mess? But again... Dennis already told us Portia flies fast and crash hard. And when she got her grandmother and mother making plans of when her and her so-called fiancé going to get married, 
that's pretty bullshit right there. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all like to let to have more. Let us sister know. But you know, I'll already be ahead of you by banging out these videos one after the other. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.